So, um, I had 80 subscribers. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, so anyways, right here, I said, this was yesterday, 80 subs. I, I, I do a tutorial on my style. And a day later, well, I hit, I hit 80 subs, so, we are going to be doing style on my tutorial. Let me just, uh, so let's just open this chest here. Oh, cool. So, basically, so the first thing you want to do is choose a song. What the hell did I do? Uh, I think I broke. Oh, <laughs> so sure, yeah. So I'm gonna be doing the uh, drop of the song. Uh, okay, right there. So, anyways. So, let's say we're like right here, and so then you want to make the gameplay obviously right now. So, basically. Basically, want to go like that. I want to hit like that. Then, like, so when you do like wave, it's pretty cool to just map out something like that. Then. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go into ball. <clears throat> then you can get like this. And go like. Then you go like here, and you basically kind of mirror it. Like every time it like. I think you know how to make a wave thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so that's a uh, like. What the frick? Okay, what happened here? Something went. Okay, I see. I went. Next day. So that's how you make wave, anyways, to make ball, like. Kind of like you get like these, and you go. Right. I feel like I'm like that. You get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna like. So what I also like doing is something like this, because it's kind of cool.
then I'm gonna go. Okay, so then I think I'm gonna transition into a spider, and then that'll be it for the gameplay. Wait, yeah, spider. No, I already did. I think I'll do ship. Yeah. I think inside I'll put some pink jump parts. Yeah. And so then you can basically just track where it went. Like, you can go like this, and then that, and then you can like make some cool structures. Select all the top. So move it up. And that should fix it. That'll look like this. Damn it. So the first thing I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go for like uh feeling a purple theme. So we're gonna do purple. The first thing I'm gonna do is set the uh background uh ground one and ground two, depending on what you done. Basically make it all black. Then we can do some decorating. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find um, random. Doesn't actually really matter what block you get. One of these uh, default blocks. Scale it up to max. We're gonna go next free. So that's a two. And go down. Then three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and move that up a bit and then go nine. So then, just copy and paste that. This is in layer one, remember. So then we can go B4. Then it's a group one. Let's make a whatever group you want it to be. 
move. We're going to move lock to player X. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to go we're gonna make that two. We're going to go for our purple theme. So I think dark purple. Make it zero. And this is how you do uh, the, this is basically the circles thing. And then you go black, 0.5. So this is actually, if you want to make a circles effect, this is what you do. But I kind of like using it for other stuff as well. Like, because it actually uh, is pretty useful. You basically just copy and paste that and move it up by one. Got one more to go. Basically, you want to just move it like this. The other, oh, oops, the other trigger that I want to set up is the toggle trigger. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna toggle one on right here. We're gonna toggle. And this is the same group that you're moving for the move trigger. We're gonna toggle it off over here. And we're gonna also figure out how long the move trigger actually goes. Let's see. So the move trigger isn't going far enough. So let's figure the 20 seconds. Like, so here's a tip just figure out how long a move trigger goes. You can. Uh, Go in here and duration lines, select that. And you can also turn off effect lines, and it looks kind of more cleaner actually. So, like, you can just see how long the move trigger goes. So, the move trigger goes long enough now at 20 seconds, and basically at the end. You want to toggle one off. And then the next thing that I'm going to want to do is go, don't fade and don't enter on that end. Once that all said and done, okay, so once you've got that done, and then so that's um, on B4, remember? So then on the next layer, you want to get these glow. No, don't get those glow. Get this glow object. Uh, scale it up. We're going to go two, three, four, five. Six, seven, let me zoom in, eight, nine, right, so, and then, you can kind of just copy and put it right the, here, and then, we're gonna one two one two ah what the hell why is that when did that become white nine oh wait because okay I see I see I see sorry my bad. You're gonna just kind of put it down anyway. So then the next thing we're gonna make it one B three. Then it'll look like this. That's enough. So now next, then this one's also gonna be we're gonna get like this thing, and 
I'm going to have to scale it up, but we're going to also do the thing. And I'm going to have to rearrange this, so... that there there so we're gonna make it actually next two put on B3 and so it'll be one and two and yeah so I'm just gonna Copy and paste it a little bit around and then up here we're gonna get an alpha trigger and we're gonna make it around I'd say make it like 46 and make that a 2 so then it's kind of slightly opaque, so then that looks like so far, but it's not nowhere near done yet. So the next thing I do is I'm gonna get these things, and we're just gonna set it to like three or something. That looks pretty cool, so I'm gonna do uh, these things and put them on a t three again, yeah. It's kind of like a star, maybe. You can put that around randomly. Maybe get like these things. Maybe like Group. So I gotta put three up here, down here. I don't know, let's put them, and then I'm gonna make that a uh, so one. I'm gonna then move it up here. Yeah, and we're gonna get three, so then we're gonna get another move trigger, we're gonna put it right here, and we're gonna get three to move negative 200 for 20 seconds, so whoops. So now they're moving down too. So the next thing I want to put on B2 are these things. I want to make them four. Basically. Gonna do something like that, and B2, put on 3, 2, and 1. So then, and 
move that. I think I'll move, yeah, move it up. And then that's all fine and dandy. So, but next we're going to get uh, these blocks. Go like two. Three, four. I'm kind of like gonna make a, a curve, sort of. Five, six. Once you have your curve, we're gonna like do like that. And then Anyways, that's going to go on B2 and 1. So that'll look Okay, so on the next layer, so on layer 7 now, we're going to we're going to put some on 2 and 1 B1 so we're gonna, I think I also make a, yeah, th th three, that's where I want to go. I'm gonna move it across. Here and more like up here, actually. And you're just gonna like kind of make like a circle out of these, so it kind of looks like that. Nice, okay. So I want to put this on a B2 actually. Actually, what about a B3? Okay, yeah, I think I like B3 better. Yeah, so put it on B3. So then... We're gonna make it... 4. Then... Gonna get an object, put it in the... Uh, so we uh, get an object, put it in the middle, put in five, one, and uh, five and one, yeah. And then you can go over here and get another alpha trigger and make five invisible. And next, we're going to get a uh, rotate trigger and put it up here. And for 20 seconds, we're going to rotate four around five, uh, 360 degrees, eight. And hopefully, hopefully, yeah, it rotated. Nice. Wait, is that working? Oh, I see. It all needs to be three. And then, so, next, after we finally made it look kind of 
detailed in the background, we can get like put on seven, and then kind of just make like that. You need to do here is go one and two. And so these objects like bounce. And I use them a lot in my levels. So basically, you just make bouncy objects bounce. And it looks kind of cool. And then a uh, B1. But yeah. And so that's going to bounce. And and you can see them bouncing and then we get the cool ones so that you get like this the square make it like nine right you're gonna go next through six then Seven, eight, nine, ten, and so, and so what you're gonna do here is we're gonna make them like a uh, move. So like, so this is six. And they like go up here and get like so six. So right there, we're gonna move. I'm gonna try negative forty, and it's gonna be a. I think I'm gonna make it back in. Okay. So then, if that. We're gonna turn off all player for now, and so that went too far. So went too far. We have to go negative thirty. Okay, that was right. So then we do two negative thirties, and then thirty on the X. Then two positive thirties. Then negative thirty on the X. And if that works, then it should Hey, okay, that worked. And then it's basically what you're gonna do is copy, move it up. Move that to seven, right? Like move it. Just a second. So I, so basically, make sure that um, you don't start it before the four times speed thing, because that kind of screws it up a little. So had to move it back a little. So yeah. So basically, we're gonna move that, change it to seven, move it two to the front, and then move that to the back. And select everything. Good. Okay, so then if you did this right, then it should do that. Right. Then all you need to do is 
just copy and paste a bunch. The next thing is we do we move it up here. So then next I'll add it to one and then we can just do that. There we go. And then oh wait. And then the final thing B1. So then the next thing that you want to do is grab your shake trigger, move up, and we want to sync with the song. So we want to sync. So I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna choose 10 as the strength for all my shakes right now. So then you're gonna basically just sync it all. For now, we're done with shakes. And then that's going to be shaky now. What I'm going to do is we're going to go into here. We're going to get this block. We're going to scale it as much as it can go. Then we're going to basically just... Do like the basically just cover everything. We're gonna go T2. So that's important to make sure that it's T2. And make it um one. Yeah. So then that block basically just covers everything, and then it will look like this. It kind of just covers even the player. So then, and then if you want to be extra special, so around, uh, you can get here, scale this up, next free, make it black. Then go T3. And then just make like, kind of like draw. I'm not sure exactly how big the screen is, but we're going to have to adjust it obviously to compensate for how big the screen is, but. Basically, make sure it's on the T3, just copy and paste, make it a little thicker. Because then get like this, go T3, uh, whoops, uh, select it again, make it 10, and just kind of go around the borders. Okay, so then when that's done, select it all and add one. Obviously, do don't fade, don't enter. So, then we're going to make it into a 
completely new group. We hit this. I think I'm gonna move it down. Negative forty. Let's try that. Let's just try negative 20 for now. Um, I'm just gonna test it out without the screen recording. So yeah, sorry I had to not, I can't, I don't think I can show it like on screen anymore. As you can see, we're at 42,000 objects in just this tiny part, so my my thing is a little object heavy, but basically it looks uh, fine for now, just trust me on that, it, actually, it looks uh, good in all parts, so now we do block design which is a uh, pretty simple I'm just gonna decorate this part basically you wanna close off when you're decorating wave part basically wanna close off it like this or decorate anything and then you want to get I'm gonna get uh, these blocks these triangle blocks and I'm gonna we're gonna set them to nine for now and go T1 make sure it's on T1 okay and then we're gonna get these blocks so right here yep you know nine and make sure it's T1, same as that, and just kind of, you're going to turn on swipe, and then just kind of color it in, you know. So once you've colored it on like this, we're going to go here, get this block, make it T1, make it, turn up the Z order a little. And then we can, uh, I'm going to experiment with some stuff, like, I haven't been making videos, like, at all, recently, for the past year, like, just only, just showing what I'm doing in Geometry Dash, because I really didn't, well, had no motivation at all to make anything, but, who knows? I have some ideas. I think I'm gonna try like some let's play style or something. I'm not how sure that's gonna work. Anyway, you wanna get like this glow block and then make it T three, T one, make it nine, you know, and this kind of you wanna kinda of just like spam it all. thing on the other side this is like the only block design uh, you basically basically uh, do the same thing so over here like you would uh I don't know get like this block kind of like that and then you get glow Like that, and that's basically oh, what my block design is. So, you know, I'm I'm not feeling like doing the other one. It's basically just the same. It will look unfinished, but 
that's just what it's going to look like. So there, that's that's how you decorate in my style. It. So yeah, here is uh, what the level looks like right now.